chapter in a quite extraordinary post-season conference season. Let's get back to Clive and Kevin. Luke Rogers will take the first penalty. And he scored three against Barnett over the two legs and the penalty shootout in the semi-final. So a 100% success from the spot for Luke Rogers this season. First up. <laughs> Nicky Ball didn't have to work. And Luke Rogers balloons the first spot kick high over that crossbar and into the Shrewsbury fans behind the goal. Advantage Aldershot. Oh, I think it was just a change of mind. He's gone for the blast. We've seen him take penalties before and put them away easily enough, but it's all about pressure as well at this stage. Tim Sills scored in the penalty shootout against Hereford at Edgar Street in the semi-final. So disappointed not to start this promotion final. Can he hold his nerve now against Scott Howie? Sills with the opportunity to make it 1-0. Decided very early and decided the right way. Well, I think he's unlucky here, Tim Sills. He's, he's, he's died the right way, Scott Howie, but the law says you must stay on your line. Scott Howie, a good two yards off his line. And the assistant referee keeps his flag down. Jamie Tolley, who could have won it in normal time for Shrewsbury. A great chance he had in the 88th minute which he couldn't take. Now the 21-year-old must hold his nerve. And Jamie Tolley does hold his nerve. Relegated from the Football League 12 months ago. But advantage with Shrewsbury. Well, he struck this firmly enough, didn't he? Sent the keep all the wrong way and put it in the bottom corner. Jamie Gosling will come forward now. It's Chris Charles, I beg his pardon, will take the penalty. He too scored against Hereford in the semi final. Former Yeovil Town man. Oh, and that too is saved by Howie. And a genuine advantage now for Shrewsbury. Chris Charles again going for power. Scott Howie dives the right way, just puts that left arm up. Strong wrists, and just about keeps the ball out. The tension is immense. So both older shot penalties missed. And now Shrewsbury's third penalty. will be taken by Jake Sedgemore. Oh, and that's very cool. They were very cool in the semi-final when they scored all five of their penalties against Barnett. And Sedgemore, very cool. Yeah, good penalty, that, by Jake Sedgemore. And an important one as well at this stage of the penalty taking. So this really has to... Go in now if they're going to retain any hope. And Terry Brown will know that Jamie Gosling has to score to give them a glimmer of an opportunity. One former Yeovil player has missed. Now can Gosling provide? No! Scott Howie saves his third successive penalty. And Shrewsbury Town now on the verge of becoming only the third club to bounce straight back into the league from conference football. And Jimmy Quinn knows that surely they're going to make it. Almost affording himself a slight smile there. And this is the penalty that will take Trevor Chalice and Shrewsbury back into the football league. Jubilation around vast areas.
Fans of the Britannia Stadium and Shrewsbury Town under Jimmy Quinn have made the quickest possible return to the Football League and it's they who will join Chester City in the third division next season. And whilst we applaud the winners, we have to get an immediate word now with the Shrewsbury player manager, Jimmy Quinn. Jimmy, you've taken Shrewsbury back in the first attempt. How does that feel? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, the, the match was so tense, you know, for both sets of players. I mean, I feel really sorry for Terry. It's a, it's a horrible way to, to go out, but I'm, t I'm glad that we studied uh, all the shots, penalties against Hereford, because that made the difference. You know, Big Scott has taken the, the video home and he's watched it night after night after night, because I said that I think the game might go to that, and he saved three penalties, and it's fantastic. Uh, so much hard work has gone into it. Yeah. So emotional, you know. We look at the fans and uh, players that give every ounce of effort today. Fantastic. <coughs> and it was a superb day. 12, 13,000 of them come here. Oh. Incredible. Great atmosphere. I'd probably have liked to, to win the game within the 90 minutes, to be fair, but I'm just glad we got through. It's a lot of hard work that we put into this season. I'm delighted for the, uh, <coughs> the board. And the fans, look at the support we've had today, fantastic. Brilliant, go and enjoy it. Well, the tears aren't too far away there on the face of Jimmy Quinn and the tears of joy and tears of despair because if there's a winner, there has to be a loser. And they came so close to the fairy tale, didn't they, Aldershot? But Chick Bates there, who's seen so much in his long association with Shrewsbury Town. And these fans... What a difference in emotion for them. 12 months ago in the depths of despair, but now on the proverbial cloud nine as Shrewsbury Town make their way back into the league. But a terrible, terrible day to be a loser. And for Terry Brown, Clive, he took them so, so close. Well, he's done an absolutely amazing job for Aldershot this season. And brought them up from the Ryman League last year. And he just kept, they just kept going and going and going all season. Everybody thought that at one stage they were going to drop down, but they just kept going and they're here right to the death. And uh, you just feel so sorry for the players, but like you say, there has to be one winner and one loser. Well, they're almost inconsolable, the Aldershot players. But for the Aldershot fans, a disappointing journey back down to Hampshire, but for these... Shrewsbury supporters, the short hop back to Shropshire and a big party tonight around the county town.